Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Uh, we are live at the flat uh, in Greenwich Village, New York City. And uh, as I promised you in the last few days, here is the wonderful uh, <laughs> quartet. <laughs> and I'm going to introduce these wonderful friends and great musicians, starting from uh, our wonderful drummer. That's, yes. <laughs> That's Kevin Dorn, ladies and gentlemen. Kevin Dorn, yes. Wonderful, Wonderful. Wonderful. yes. <laughs> Give and, it up. And then on, uh, on clarinet, uh, I believe now for the third time here at the flat in Greenwich Village, uh, the one and only Evan Christopher yeah, on that's clarinet. Same. That's it. Yeah, Evan, thank you for thank being you here. Thank you for having me. And uh, on trumpet, I believe also for the third time here at the flat, uh, we have uh, King Kelso. Kelso. <laughs> <laughs> John Eric Kelso, that well, uh, you all know, it's a sensational uh, trumpet player, cornet player, you know, he's uh, probably one of the greatest connoisseurs of the great tradition of jazz, uh, you know. How are you doing? I'm pretty good. <laughs> yeah, Thanks. All right, so I promised you that uh, we would uh, be celebrating uh, uh, the great Fats Waller tonight because that's a wonderful uh, uh, way to get hot. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And so we're going to start right away with our program. And this is a, a, a song very much associated with Fats and... Uh, uh, the title is kind of funny because it goes, uh, I wish I were twins. Mm -hmm. But before we play, I want to just say welcome in Italian, if you don't mind. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Allora, prima di iniziare, volevo cogliere l'occasione per salutare tutti gli amici italiani che ci seguono dall'Italia, ma da anche tante altre parti del mondo. E la famiglia, e la famiglia yes. chiaramente. Bravo, Evan. So... Uh, here we are with Fat Swaller.
Yeah. That's yeah. Uh, that's I love the improvised oh, uh, ensemble man. in crescendo, you know, mm -hmm. at the end. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, that's the hot jazz, ladies and gentlemen. We are having a ball right away, so I hope uh, it's going to be contagious. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I have to, to give away uh, a secret because uh, uh, one of the reasons why we are doing this uh, <laughs> Fats Waller tribute today is because last week uh, my dear friend uh, that uh, I'm sure she's watching now, uh, Brigitte uh, Wunderbar from uh, uh, from Austria, from Vienna. Uh, she asked me to play two uh, Fats Waller composition. Once uh, are Ain't She Glad, and the other one Keep a Song in Your Soul. And uh, so I thought uh, we should do a whole Fats Waller concert, and that's yeah, where the idea came from. Two songs. That's right. So that's right. So I would say. Uh, uh, Brigitte, we are going to do right away Ain't Chaglad, that is the first tune that you requested, and I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. 
our friend uh, Brigitte Wunderer, the Ancient Glad. And now the other one that is, uh, actually I didn't know this one, so I had to learn it. Uh, Keep a song in your soul that was written by Fats Waller, but I couldn't find any recording of Fats. There, right, I, I found a Benny Goodman. That's early, right. Early Benny Goodman big band. That's right, exactly. Like 1930. I didn't even know you had a big band that early. But, uh, That's right. Something like 1930. I can't remember. All right, so let's look at this uh, uh, Keep a Song in Your Soul.
wonderful. Yeah. Wow. So, uh, John, I'm going to start with you. Okay. You want to tell us about uh, your instrument today? Ah, yeah. I'm really kind of uh, having a lot of fun with this. This is a, I just got this recently. Uh, Brent Peters is out in Palouse, Washington State, and he's making, he's keeping the pudgy trumpet uh, line going. He, uh, he took, took that over after uh, uh, Di Nicola passed away some years ago. Anyway, uh, so I've been playing on these pudgy trumpets for a long time, and he's, he has it in mind that he wants to make a uh, Kelso signature model pudgy trumpet. And so he asked for some ideas of what I thought that would be, and we tried some, you know, tossed it around, and this is the first prototype right here. Yeah. So I've been uh, putting it to the test on various gigs, uh, trying it in different types of situations. And travels. And travels down to New Orleans. It's just, it had its first trip to New Orleans recently. Uh, getting to play with this guy down there, and uh, at any rate, it's a pudgy trumpet, it, and it is technically a trumpet, I guess. <laughs> uh, but it's, it's obviously it looks kind of like a cornet because of the shape. But uh, there are trumpets that look like cornets and cornets that look like trumpets. And uh, I think I'll stop at that because it gets pretty boring. You should tell them it's, it's not it's not pudgy p u d g y. You should tell them that's, that's right. It's spelled it's funny. Uh, it's spelled p u j e, but it is pronounced pudgy. <laughs> <laughs> that's wonderful. All right, so I love that uh, that information. You know, that's big time. The 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 Kelso model. Wow. <laughs> I'm pretty thrilled. Yeah, and well, I'm actually. I even have like the Kelso Pixie Mew too. It's like pretty soon I'm gonna have a, a fragrance line. And ah. That's right. <laughs> We're looking for that. <laughs> and this this is made by Huber Music, by the way. For since we're doing uh, mm -hmm. doing some plugs here. Yes. Perfect. We can. We should do that always. We should do that. All right. So we're gonna proceed now with uh, with another classic that also came up uh, in uh, several comments and requests. Uh, and this is the keeping out of mischief now. I love it. And the sea of key? That is exactly right. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. 
honeysuckle rose, honeysuckle rose, with a little, uh, I was thinking at the beginning of the great Ralph Sutton, mm -hmm. that probably after Fats Waller, I consider him the greatest interpreter of that tune, and not only, but uh, all the tradition of stride piano, Fats Waller, Willie Lion Smith, Ralph was really, uh, he absorbed that and took it to the next level, mm -hmm. I thought. Yeah. Now, I guess you guys all got the chance to play with Ralph, right? Yeah. Yes. Did you and Kevin also? I, I never got to play with him, but I got to uh, hear him live and hang out with him. So oh, that's a thrill. That's yeah. it. So it's the same thing. Yeah. So, uh, Evan, tell us about uh, you two guys were recently in New Orleans, right? We went, we, uh, we went down for the French Quarter Festival, which had a two year hiatus for the, the same as the rest of the world. <laughs> And uh, it, was a, it was a real party. Everybody was very celebratory. And uh, mm -hmm. uh, lots of, you know, uh, French Quarter Fest uh, is probably arguably one of the, one of the biggest uh, free festivals, um, you know, largest free festivals in the, in the country. And uh, boy, everybody was really ready to party. And the weather was just gorgeous. Um, although, although the day, we, we came back on Saturday, and I guess the Sunday it did rain a little bit. Yeah, I heard some people got rained on a little, but they, they played anyway. But, uh, what a, what <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, and it celebrates, it celebrates really the, the, um, the local talent even better than the, uh, the, the uh, festival that's going on now. It's, it's um, um, known as the Jazz and Heritage Festival. So, uh, you know, for us to be down there making music together was, was a real blast. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, with Snug Harbor, one of our favorite uh, favorite venues. Well, probably <laughs> the um, probably the only one that really uh, took things seriously and made sure that everybody was uh, was uh, was safe and and uh, could enjoy the music without worrying too much. And then the festival itself ran very smoothly, and, and, and from from where I was standing, it was it was, uh, it was a blast. Oh, that's great. That's great. So it's we are all experiencing this. Uh, uh, coming back to our regular musical activity. Yeah, it was four days for me, not eight weeks like you, but, <laughs> but yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but you know, so I was away eight weeks, uh, and uh, of course I couldn't do the, the streamed show because we were traveling and I should have uh, brought another suitcase with the machinery <laughs> so I couldn't do it. But uh, uh, I kept receiving messages uh, from people saying that they were missing the flat in Greenwich ah, no. Village, <laughs> you see? Mm -hmm. And so uh, that's why we started again. And uh, uh, even though the struggle in the world goes on and on, and we know why, but uh, I think uh, uh, that music keeps uh, carrying the magic uh, of trying to encourage people to feel some joy. And so we believe in that. Mm -hmm. And so nothing works better than Fats Waller. Sure. <laughs> That's right. All right, so. Black and blue. No. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I think even though it's a, uh, it's a tune that uh, uh, has become a kind of commercial, but uh, I don't think uh, you can... Uh, do a Fat Swaller uh, show without playing Amy's Behaving. Sure. Mm. So, you guys feel like doing that? Yeah, sure. sure. So, should we do it in E flat? Okay. All right. So. <laughs> I think so. We're doing a little verse. And I, let's just stick with yeah, the chorus. Yeah, sounds good.
misbehaving with the wonderful Kevin Dorn on the drums. Yeah. You know, this young gentleman works miracles with the drums, especially because... Young Kevin Dorn. That's right. <laughs> so you're playing a snare drum and hi-hat, right? Yes, yeah, so this is a Lon Chaney Jr. model snare drum. Oh. So you want to tell us uh, something about it? It's <laughs> Uh, this is actually a uh, Ludwig snare drum from the late 1950s. Uh, these are some hi-hat cymbals that, believe it or not, before we start playing, we were talking about instruments that we are fortunate enough to own that belong to some of our heroes, and this is pretty amazing, but these hi-hat cymbals belonged to the great Joe Jones. What? Wow! Uh, really? Yes, I, don't, I don't think they were his main cymbals. I don't know if he really used them on any famous records, but... Uh, they came to me uh, through great drummer Chuck Riggs, who got them mm. from Joe Jones. So wow. obviously it's a great honor to be playing those. And it's a great honor to be here with you guys. I'm having a oh, blast. Man. Yeah. Wow, that's beautiful. That's really something. You know, we, we really idolize these great uh, jazz musicians uh, of the past. And because they played the music in a certain way, that we actually then fell in love with it. So I can imagine, Kevin, for you to own uh, such uh, a piece of instrument, it's, it's, uh, it's remarkable. So congratulations. That's Kevin Dorn. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, you know, guys, it's unbelievable. We made a program, I'm not kidding you, with the, about uh, over, 20, uh, over 20 Fat Swaller related tunes. So buckle up, folks. But, <laughs> but of course, of course, we've got one hour. Long evening. <laughs> That's right. We've got one hour. So, but uh, you know, of course, we could do another volume we in the future. Should, maybe we should. Please, yes, please. <laughs> yes, please. So, uh, I'd say. That's, that's up to you all. Not to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say let's uh, let's play a medium thing, and then we we can end uh, with something with something up. So sure. what about uh, I'm crazy about my baby? Love Should it. we do that? I right. love it. So I'm going to play the verse. Yeah. All right? Please, Please do. do. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> All right, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are almost, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are almost at the end uh, of episode 68. Uh, we would like to thank you for being such a wonderful, uh, supportive audience. We would like to remind you that if you want, if you can, there is the possibility to send a donation so we can keep uh, having wonderful musicians like this uh, here at the flat in Greenwich Village. So, uh, we've got uh, one more for you. What about guys, uh, to give it a try with uh, the joint is jumping. Oh yeah. <laughs> so I think uh, in this case we should uh, slightly change the title and say the flat is jumping. Ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All, right. All right, once again, uh, the wonderful uh, Kevin Dorn uh, on the drums, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Evan Christopher on the clarinet, uh, uh, great. Yeah. Evan, wonderful, I love you, yeah, I love you. you. I'm so glad that you came back in my life, oh, you know? <laughs> so good to be in New York. <laughs> And uh, King Kelso on the, <laughs> on the okay. trumpet, the trumpet. Yeah. Wonderful. So here we go with the, the joint is jumping. So should we get it up a little sure. bit? Sure. Okay, all right. <laughs> Careful. Right. Yeah, yeah, right, right. right. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean by that? <laughs> Woo. Mm -hmm. All right.
Thank you. I love you guys. I love you. See you next uh, Tuesday with our special guest, the uh, great tenor saxophone player, Ari Allen, back at the flat. Mm. All right. Ciao. Mwah. Ciao. Grazie mille. <laughs>